Hey guys. So uh, we've been talking about time and how to tell time to the hour. So today we're going to uh, learn about how to tell time to the half hour. So let's just review on telling time to the hour uh, first, just real quick. So make sure you have your clocks for this video uh, to go along with this. So if you don't have them, press pause and go grab them and then come back. So um, we have two hands on the clock. Which, do you remember which hands go where? Or not, or not really go where, but what they're called. There we go. Okay, so we have this one, the short hand. Do you remember what it's called? The hour hand, right? This is the hand that tells us what hour we're in. So the numbers that are red on the clock, the big numbers, are our hours. Okay. Then we have this hand, the long hand. Do you remember what that one's called? This one's the hour, then this one must be the minute hand. So the minute hand moves around a lot faster than the hour hand does. So it starts up here is zero at the 12. Remember we call that o'clock, right? Whenever uh, we're on the hour, we say it's whatever hour o'clock, okay? And every time it moves, it moves one minute. So it goes all the way around. That's why it says 60 up here because from top all the way around, it makes 60 minutes. So the minute hand moves when it gets to the one, it's five minutes. So then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it just keeps going all the way around till it hits 60 and we start at zero again. So we learned about how to tell time to the hour. So this time right here is what time? The hour is pointing to the three and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So that is three o'clock. So it says three o'clock in our clock here. Well, this is not the only way for a clock to work. It's not always just three o'clock. It will only be three o'clock for just a moment. Then eventually it's gonna to move to the next time. So, and we're not gonna go and learn about all the times. We're just gonna be focusing on hour and half hour. So, 30 minutes later, so if the clock starts, a full rotation of the clock is 60 minutes, half of that is 30. And that's why we call it the half hour because it's half of one hour. One hour is 60 minutes. Half of that is 30. So if my minute hand goes halfway around the clock, it would be pointing down to the six. And that is 30 minutes. And you see it down there, it says 30. And did you see my hour hand? It didn't stay on the three, but it is still a part of the three o'clock hour, the three hour. So when I want to do a half hour time, so it's three o'clock right now, it's gonna move. My hour hand is kind of in between the three and the four. It's called halfway, right? Because the hour is halfway around. So if I continue to go around, eventually it would be on the four and that's four o'clock halfway around from 3.30 takes me to four o'clock. And I just keep going. Halfway around is 30 minutes. So it is 30 minutes after four o'clock. So we say the hour, we say the hour where the hour hand comes after. So not before. So here the five is right there. So since the hour hand has not reached the five yet, we don't say it's five. The hour hand has to touch, has to be pointing to the five or after for us to use this number. But since the hour hand has not gotten here yet, we don't say that number yet. We say four. So it's four. And then the minute hand is pointing to the six, which is halfway around. So the halfway around of six, halfway is six, half, half of 60, there we go, is 30. So four, 30, four, 30. So 
let's say if I had that. Okay, so my hour hand is in between the seven and the eight. My minute hand is pointing down to the six. So when I point down to six, that's 30. Because at the top, it's zero. And if I go all the way around, it's 60. So halfway around is 30. So when my minute hand points down to the six, it's 30 minutes. And then of course, my hour hand is in between the seven and the eight. And since it hasn't reached, it's not pointing to the eight yet, or after the eight, I can't say eight yet. I have to say seven. So it's 7.30. And how would I write that on my, anal my digital clock? My digital clock would say 7.30. So I would make sure I have seven over here. One more. Oh, what happened? There we go. Seven, that's my hour, and then 30. I can keep the zero here because 30 is zero in the ones place. So I bring this to a three. There we go, that's 7.30. Just like it says here on the clock. So that's how we would write 7.30 on a digital clock. And this is how we would say 7.30 on an analog clock. So let's try one together. Let's go on ahead and put our hour hand in between the 10 and the 11, okay? And then put your, move your minute hand pointing down to the six. Can you do that on your clock? Okay, so now let's figure out the time together. First, let's look at the hour. So our hour hand is in between the 10 and the 11, okay? The 10 comes before 11, because I go in a clock, we call it clockwise, because I go in this direction all the time in a clock. We're, we, the clock doesn't go backwards. We don't go, that would mean we're going back in time. And we can't go back in time, we could only go forward. So we count the clock in this direction. So 10, then comes 11. So since the hour hand has not passed 11 yet, we say it's in the hour of 10. Then look at the minute hand. It's pointing down to the six. That's halfway around the clock. So half of 60 is 30. So it is 1030 on the clock. Or we can say it's half past 10 or 30 minutes uh, 30 minutes to 11. There are several ways to say 1030. Is that halfway to 11 o'clock, 30 minutes past 10, halfway past 10. So how would we write 1030 on our digital clock? So this is the hour, so we need to say 10, right? So I need to have a zero in the ones place, there's my zero, and I need to have a one for 10. There it is. And then I already have my 30 right there. So 10, 30, there we go. Let's try another one. Okay. Let's go for this one. I want you to put your hour hand in between the two and the three, and your minute hand pointing to the six. Okay, so see how it's in between the two? It's not pointing to two and it's not pointing to three. When we do the half hour, it's going to be pointing in between the two numbers. Okay, and then make sure your minute hand is pointing down to the six. Okay. So what time could this be? Well, let's take a look at our hour hand and we go in clockwise motion. So, okay, my minute, my hour hand, sorry, is it between the two and the three? What number when we go by time comes first? Two, then three. So if the hour hand is in between the two and the three, the two comes first. 
So it is two something. We are in the hour of two. And then the minute hand is pointing down to the six. So it's halfway around the clock. What's half of 60? 30. So it is 230. So we need to put 230 on our digital clock. So do we need this one? No. We need the two. And then 30. 230. Okay. Let's try one more together and then I'm going to give you a time to try on the next one. Okay. Go on ahead and put your hour hand in between the 12 and the 1. And put your minute hand pointing down to the 6. Have your hour hand in between the 12 and the 1. And your minute hand pointing down to the 6. Okay. So, what time could this be? Think about it in your head. Do you know it? So, my hour hand, again, is in between the 12 and the 1. And again, now, this one's a little different because 12 is bigger than 1. And normally on the clock, if I'm going around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I know that 2 comes before 3 when counting, so I would know that's 2. But when I normally count, does 12 come before 1? No, I don't go 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But on a clock, I do, because it starts all over again. So, no, 12 is bigger than 1, but on a clock, 12 does come before 1. So, I'm not going to say it's 1 something, just because 1 is smaller. We're going to say 12. It's the, we're in the hour of 12, and then the minute hand is pointing down to the 6, which is halfway around the clock, which is 30. So it is 1230. Yep. Yeah. And that's um, how we try to tell time. We ha the how that is how that is how we say um, how we tell time to the half hour. I can't talk today. Uh, so let's try one. This time I'm going to give it to you and then you're going to tell me what, you're, you're going to try to see if you know what time it is. Okay, so put your hour hand in between the five and the six and pointing, and the minute hand pointing to the six. So this is what it should look like. The hour hand is pointing to the five and the six and the minute hand is pointing to the six. Okay, once you have that, try to see if you can figure out what time it is. So, the hour hand is between the five and the six. So what number will we say first? And then the minute hand is halfway around the clock. So that's 30 minutes. So what time is it? 5.30, right? So 5.30, I would write this way. Got to get my five out. There you go, 5.30. Okay, and that's how we would show 5.30 on a clock. Notice how the hands are so very close, right? I can still see it though. When we do 5.30, we don't want the hands to be on top of each other, okay? All right, let's try another one. Go on ahead and put your hour hand in between the 11 and the 12 and your minute hand pointing down to the 6. Okay, so this is what you should have in between the 11 and 12 and the minute hand pointing down to the 6. What time do you think that is? The hour hand is in between 11 and 12, and 11 would come first when we look at the clock going in that direction. So it's 11, 30, because the minute hand is halfway around, so it's 30 down here. 11, 
30 on the clock. So in my digital clock, if I wanted to say 11, my hour needs to say 11. So I need to get my one over here, 11. I need to get my other one. That's a two, almost there. 11, 30, there we go. Hmm. What if I just give you, I don't even tell you. Now I'm just going, I'm gonna show you what is, think about what that time is. It's 3.30, right? It is because the hour hand is in between the three and the four and the minute hand is pointing down to the six, 3.30. Okay, what about that one? The hour hand is in between the seven and eight, and the minute hand is pointing down to the six, so the seven comes first, so 7.30. Now, let's see if you, if I tell you the time, you can get it on the clock and match mine. So can you see if you can try to show me 1.30? Okay, so press pause, try to get 1.30, and then come back and see if you did it correctly with mine. So 1.30. So my hour hand is one, but if it's 1.30, that means that my minute hand is halfway around, so my hour hand has to be in between what two numbers? 1.30. Do I put it between 12 and one? I'm supposed to say the hour that comes first. So does 12 come first when I say 131? No, well, I mean, it does come first, but I would, I'm supposed to say 12 first. So that would be 1230. I don't want 1230, I want 130. So I need to have my hour hand in between the one and two and my minute hand pointing down to the six, and that would be 130. Did you have that? With your hour hand in between one and two and your minute hand down pointing to six, that would be 130. What about 630? You wanna try that one? So press pause, see if you can make 630, and then we'll look at it together. So 630, my hour hand is supposed to be by the six. Okay, so let's get moving. Okay, now is it between five and six or six and seven? So if it's 630, that's the number I'm supposed to say first. So it's the number that's supposed to appear first when I say in between. So if my hour hand was in between the five and the six, would I say five first or six first? Am I going this direction or this direction? this direction and I would say five first and six is supposed to be first because it's 630. So I need my hour hand in between six and seven because when I'm going this direction, six comes first. And then there goes my minute hand pointing to the six because it's 30. So this is how we would say 630. All right, let's try one more and then tomorrow we will continue learning more about time to the half hour. And after this video, if you want to keep practicing, please do. Hmm. Let's do 10.30. Have we done that one yet? We might have, but let's do it again. 10.30. Can you show me 10.30? So, 10.30, my hour hand has to be in between the nine and the 10 or the 10 and 11. Well, when I say the time, 10 comes first, right? So if I'm, if my hour hand is in between the nine and the 10, would I say 10 first? No, the nine. So I need my hour hand in between the 10 and 11 because when I count, 10 is gonna come first. 10, 11, 10. And then my minute hand is pointing down to the six because it's 10, 30 and 30 is halfway around the clock. So 
That's how we can tell time to the half hour. So we will go over more tomorrow um, to review and keep on practicing and doing a great job, guys. Thanks for joining me today. See you later. Bye.